Monday morning. I don't know what time is it. Like nine o'clock now. <laughs> so yesterday was a fun run. We were up at like four fifteen. Sorry, four forty-five, five o'clock ish, and uh, it was a very long day. Fun run all day long. Showings all day long. Uh, offers last night. Sold a house last night, and this morning we were just tired and <laughs> slept in, and of course, no lunches. So we're at the superstore grabbing some lunches for the kids so that they can eat today. I told them they'd get something special <laughs> if they got dressed. What's that gonna be? I don't know. Like 20,000 oh. isn't a big jump. What? What? So what's going on? What happened last night? Nothing. So here's the thing about like negotiations. Usually first round when, when uh, the offers come in, people generally will kind of go a little bit low then, uh, then from there come up. Whereas last night, you know, we got an offer. It was pretty decent as a, as a first offer, thinking that, okay, that we're gonna have a pretty decent jump after this. And that was just about it. Like we got like, kind of scraped tooth and nail trying to, oh, I lost, I lost Lisa to the flowers. Scraped tooth and nail just to get like an extra 10 grand out of them. checking for mold because he's notoriously mold in the store or at least moments after getting them home. You're just really bad at picking fruit. It's not true. It is true. Your blueberries, your strawberries. If I ever pick mold, I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> That's true. Morning. Uh, can I have 300 grams of free from turkey, please? Yeah. Superstar has these star rating things. Three stars is healthy, two stars not as healthy, one star is not healthy, or zero stars. For some reason, the 12 grain used to be two stars, and the ancient grain used to be three stars, but now they've changed it. So I'll go with that, three stars. We need eggs because we're always almost out of eggs. We eat eggs like they're going out of style. It's because there's five of us. Five egg eaters in the house. Makes for many eggs eaten. Ah! Normally right here, they have like this big gigantic pack of eggs. It's not here right now. To find it. You know, do you have the, the big packs of eggs? You know, like the... Uh, you used to have them on the end unit there. You know what I'm talking about? No? Okay. <laughs> People look at you funny when you're recording yourself in the store. But, that's okay. So here's a bit of a food hack that I found. I'm heading over to get organic spaghetti sauce because it's way, way, way thicker. Which at first I was like, oh my God, this is so thick. But then I realized that when you add a little bit of water to it to thin it out, uh, you basically get like kind of like one and a half things of, of normal sauce. So, and it's only like 50 cents more roughly, something like that. So organic and it's healthier for you. Give me the dance. I got all the way to the checkout line and then realized that I forgot all my bags in the truck. I don't eat, I don't like taking the plastic bags because I got like 40 million of them at home. And then I'm gonna just take more and then I'm gonna have 40 million and five. It's like a jigsaw puzzle all the time. How can you make 
half an hour to get home and get the kids to lunch back and then over to them before their nutrition break. Remember when you used to eat once a day? Morning, recess, lunch, and a long recess, and then afternoon recess. Sometimes lunch. We have nutrition break. That was weird. garbage in the back from the fun run, so we don't want to mix garbage and groceries. Perfect fit. Hit my purse again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the best parts about Milton are some of the kind of most overlooked areas or not explored anyways is uh, I'm inside the the Scott woodlot area which is basically just a big huge forest that is undeveloped obviously otherwise it wouldn't be a forest and uh, just a nice trail walking through it I'm right in the middle of the Scott neighborhood and you, you know you wouldn't you wouldn't even think about it um, you know we're right on the on the edge of the escarpment there's tons of conservation areas close by but even just having this like virtually in your backyard it's just stunning I'm out just shooting drone videos in this wooded lot here and uh, battery started to die, started to get a warning. I kind of tried to push it, but then it was telling me that it was going to send it home. When you, start the, when you start up the drone to begin with, it marks your home point on GPS so it knows kind of where to go back to if, uh, if you're flying around pretty high. But seeing as I was right in the middle of a forested area, I didn't want it all of a sudden just taking off trying to go home because, well, it wasn't going to make it out of here by itself, I can tell you that. I definitely love playing with my drone here and shooting awesome videos and whatnot. My only complaint so far is the battery doesn't last very long. I've already got two and I feel like I need to get ten. Woo! 